channel we talk about all things beauty fashion and lifestyle so if you're interested in any of those things please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video dedicated to one of my subscribers let me get my phone so that I can pronounce her name correctly her tag is at Drea Yvonne 8172 she left a comment on my what did I wear episode 5 video and she asked me if I was filming that video in my home office and yes Drea I was and then she asked me to do an office tour so thank you Drea for requesting this video and if you would like to see a tour of my home office please keep watching so a little backstory on this room before we converted it into my home office back in 2020. We actually built an addition onto our house, I think around 2015 or 2016. And that addition included a family room, this room, a full-size bathroom, and a pantry. And this room was initially for our dog, Oreo. So I try to pop up some pictures of what the room looked like before we converted it into my home office. But in 2020, at the start of COVID, Oreo became very ill and she ended up passing away. And that's also when we were transitioning into full-time working from home. And I was going to need a dedicated office space because I was just working all over the house and I did not want that. And we had no intentions on getting a new dog. I was able to get my home office. So let's go ahead and get into this tour. So this is me standing in my family room and this is the door into my office. But this is a quick overview of the office. And the theme that I wanted to go with was blue, white, and gold because blue is my favorite color. And then the next thing I have is this piece right here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put like a big round mirror right here or if I wanted to do like a big clock. And I was just unsure of what I wanted to put in this space because it is behind the door and most of the time my door is open. But I knew I wanted to put something because it's such a huge space. Came in, it was really easy to apply. It's just pill and stick and it does run by batteries but you know me. I don't change batteries out so so it has been this time for a couple of years but it is what it is i bought it for the look not to tell time with and then i have this navy blue rug that i picked up from target so that we can just wipe our feet when we come in from outside and then i have this white and gold bench right here i wanted to have a place for people to sit if they came in while i was working so sometimes my husband will come in and have a seat and we'll chit chat for a little bit and at the bottom here i have my work tote i have this one and then i have a brown one right behind it and i put them there because i didn't have any other place to put them i didn't want them in my closet because they're my work totes but i don't know if i'm going to keep them there i think i wanted to get something like a coat rack or a hat rack to hang them on but I don't think the room is big enough like I don't have space to put a coat rack to hang those for now I'm gonna keep them there until I can think of something else to do with them then I just have this little nightstand right here that I painted white I need to repaint it again because it's getting a little messy and I just have a couple of my plaques on it and and I have this faux floral plant that I put right here I don't know if this will stay there but that's just what I have there at the moment. And I don't have any curtains. I'm not really big on curtains. We don't have curtains anywhere in the house, but maybe that's something that will change when we, you know, kind of revamp the house and get some new furniture and stuff. We may decide to go with curtains, but for now I just go with the wooden blinds. 
And then on this wall, I have this gold shelf right here and then some artwork. I went with the gold shelf because most of the furniture was white and I wanted to incorporate gold. And I picked this up from walmart.com. It was a bit pricey, but I really like how it looks here in the space. And then to decorate it, I added this gold charger from the dollar store. And then this crystal heart was a gift from my son for my birthday a couple of years ago. And this was just one of his favorite pictures and it says forever us. And it does change colors. It comes with the remote so it can change from red, blue, and green. But right now I just have it on white. And on this shelf, I have this white and gold vase from Burlington. My digital clock that's on this little leaf thing that I think I also picked up from Burlington or TJ Maxx. And this little giraffe was a Mother's Day gift from one of my aunties and it has this succulent plant inside of it, but I don't know how well it's doing. I think I've watered it twice. Maybe I need to water it some more. I'm not a plant person. That's my husband's area of expertise. I prefer my plants to be full, but um, this is what I have. So we need to try to figure out what's going on with it. On this shelf, I just have this candle here. I think I picked this up from TJ Maxx and I bought it mainly because of the color because it's navy blue and has the gold top. Then I have a couple of books. This book right here, Atomic Habits by James Clare. Really good read. I highly recommend you read that. Give it to your children to read. It's a very good book. Some really good tidbits in there. Then I just have this little picture frame, vase in box and then some more decor and a couple of books. So that's what I have on this shelf. And then over here, those little gold boxes, that was just a little DIY project that I did. I don't know how long they'll be there. I'll probably end up changing that out for something else. And then this little heater, because sometimes it gets pretty chilly in this room, so I'll turn this on so, you know, to warm it up a little bit. And this was an Amazon buy. And I did talk about this in my Amazon's favorite video. So go back and take a look at that if you wanted to get more information about this little heater. But that is a really good purchase for the office. And then moving on to this artwork, I think I purchased these from Etsy and it came as a link and I had to have them printed out at Office Depot. And then I bought the picture frames and I spray painted them gold. And I like the little perfume because it had a little bit of girliness into the office so it's not so dry and business-like. So I love that. And this printer I actually got from my old office. We moved into a new office building so they were allowing people to take furniture from the old building. So I had this in my office and it was fairly new so I thought I would bring it home in case I needed to print something. I don't do a lot of printing and of course as soon as I get it home it stops working it's something like with the ink or whatever so I have to have my husband to take a look at it so I don't know if we can't figure it out it'll probably be gone because again I don't do a lot of printing and we have another printer so that is the printer and then I have this little drawer here just because I needed to have some storage space so it's just a bunch of random junk that's in that drawer that I need to clean out so we're not going to open that <laughs> and then beneath there I just have a few more of my work totes that I keep there because again I don't want them in my closet and then this little plant here was an office woman gift from my husband I felt like I needed something in this space and I wanted something tall but I was so unsure of what I wanted and then he picked this up with this little vase so I thought that was cute and the little shelf down here at the bottom this was actually on my desk but then I made some changes and I didn't want to throw it away so I just put it there so that I can give some height to this little plant situation and then this is the back wall so I just googled blue artwork and I printed these off of the internet and framed them so this is my little backdrop behind my desk and then on this wall, I just have smaller versions of my degrees. I do have a BS in political science and an MBA. And above that, I had a poem by Maya Angelou, Still I Rise, but I dropped the picture frame and it broke, so I need to replace that. And then below there, I have this whiteboard where I just write 
um, a notes for work or things that I am working on so that I don't forget. And then at the bottom, it's kind of like my vision board section. The things that I want to achieve for the year, I'll write them there. And some of the things have already come into fruition. So I've erased them and replaced it with something else. And I feel like everything that touches this board comes to life. So I love this whiteboard. So this little chef situation right here is fairly new. I wanted to add something that would give me some additional workspace because my desk is fairly small because the room is fairly small. And I wanted something where I could put my laptop and I also wanted something to store like all of my notebooks and pens. So I picked this shelf up from Amazon. I love that the shelves are adjustable so I can make them the height that I need them to be. And on the top, I just have my laptop, of course. I have a little coaster and then this light so I can brighten up my Zoom video as needed. And on this shelf, I have some pens and markers for my whiteboard. I have my work phone and then my coffee warmer. And on this shelf, I have some notebooks that I'm currently using right now and my day planner. And that's just an empty box. And this is a riser that I use when I'm going to set up my laptop for my Zoom meeting so it can be eye level. And on the bottom shelf, I just have some additional notebooks. So I love this addition. It allows me to have more workspace and more storage. And here is my chair. This blanket I picked up from Target because again, it gets cooled in here. And sometimes I don't want to turn on the heater, but I do want to cover my legs. So I have this blanket. This is my chair. I knew I wanted to have a navy blue velvet chair. So I was on the hunt to find this. I can't remember exactly which website I picked it up from, but I will look through my emails and link it down below. But this is my chair. I love that it has wheels so I can move it around and it also swivels and adjusts so I can make it higher or lower and then I can twist it back and forth. So that was a very important to me. And initially I wanted a chair with arms, but I knew it wouldn't fit underneath the desk and this one fits under the desk perfectly. So that is my chair and I find it to be very comfortable too. Now moving on to my desk, y'all, let me tell you the story about this desk. So obviously I wanted a white desk because that was the color scheme for the office. So I was on the hunt for a white desk. So I was looking for something a little modern, not too traditional, and not too big that it would take up a lot of space. When it finally came, I was so excited. I'm taking it out of the box and y'all, tell me why this desk was not white. This desk was like charcoal gray. I wanted to cry. So I immediately went back to my confirmation. Like, did I choose the wrong desk? Did I pick the wrong color? And no, I didn't. It said white. And they sent me this great desk and I was like, well, this isn't going to work because this isn't what I had envisioned. This is not what I paid for. And I was like, but I can't return it because I needed a desk and I didn't know how long it was going to be before I can get a new desk. So I was like, look, I'm going to keep the desk, but I need to be compensated for the inconvenience and the fact that I am going to have to repurpose this desk and make it what I need it to be. So I'm pretty sure that they either refunded me my entire amount or at least half of it. I can't remember exactly, but I did receive a refund. For the most part, I love the way that it looks and I'm happy with it. So we do have this desk that we painted white and it added this glass top to protect it from one because the paint will easily chip and I already see where it's chipping around the sides. So I knew I needed to have some kind of protective covering so that it wouldn't chip just from me using it every day. And then I also wanted to protect it from getting dirty. So that's why I added the glass top. And then I added this huge mouse pad here for my keyboard and my mouse. And underneath there, I just have my calculator. And those are the adapters and connectors for my laptop and the monitor. And then I added this little riser here because I needed to raise my monitor so that it would be at eye level. And I do have two monitors, but these are kind of irritating me for a couple of reasons. One, because they are two different sizes. This is my monitor from my job. And this is a monitor that we had around the house. Now, originally when I moved into this home office in 2020, I only had the one monitor because I was doing a different job and I only needed one monitor. Well, a couple of years ago, I changed positions 
And now I need the double monitors because I work with a lot of numbers. I do a lot of financial analysis. So I need to have the two monitors so that I can compare spreadsheets and charts. The second thing that irritates me is that there are two different colors. This is my biggest pet peeve. Like this really drives me crazy. So I try to ignore it as much as I can. But every time I look at it and every time I think about it, I get more and more irritated. So I think I want to switch out these double monitors and get like the one wide curve monitor. I don't think it would be as wide as these two monitors are side by side, but I think it will still be big enough for me to do my split screen so I can still compare documents. And I just think that it will look so much better on my desk and it will be white and match everything else. So I don't know, I have been researching a couple and we'll just see. But for right now, this is what we have, the two different monitors. And then I also have my blue light glasses from Amazon. I have this little mirror here from Amazon so I can, you know, make sure everything is in place before I get on my Zoom calls. And I have my little fan right there in case I get too warm and that also came from Amazon. And this so. is the final look of my home office.